Today, we're at the Medway Creek to investigate the water quality and take a look at some of the different factors that help us tell how healthy a stream or creek might be. To start off, one of the things that is a really good indicator of how healthy a stream is, is what kind of benthic invertebrates are found in the water body. Kim is shuffling around and kicking up some of the rocks on the stream bed to loosen any invertebrates that might be holding on so that they'll fall and flow into her net. So once our nets are full, we're gonna carefully bring them back to shore and empty them into some buckets of water that we have. We then have some spoons and different trays to separate our different invertebrates and species that we found to help us identify them. So now we've dumped all of our invertebrates and what we collected from the stream into this bucket and this really helps us see what kinds of different species we might have caught. I'm going to very carefully use a spoon to scoop out some of these invertebrates and separate them using this little tray here. Now, this helps me look at all of the different species individually and it can help me identify them. So a few of the species that we have right here, we have some mayfly nymphs and we have a few of those, as well as a water penny, uh, a water penny larva. So what these different species can do is they act as key indicators of water quality. There's certain invertebrates that need really healthy streams to live in. So if you find that we're catching a lot of these high quality water um, invertebrate indicators, then we know that our stream is doing a pretty healthy job and that it's able to support these species. Uh, so our water penny larva and our mayfly uh, nymph are both species that indicate to us that this is a very healthy ecosystem for invertebrates. So this is one of the species that we found in our stream, and this is actually a little crayfish right here. Something interesting about this crayfish here is their pincers are really strong. They can actually grab and hold onto your skin, and they might sometimes fight with another crayfish in the water, and if they happen to lose that, that pincer in the battle, they'll be able to regrow it and continue living. Here is another species that we found in our net, and this is actually a fish species called a rainbow darter. So at this time of year, the rainbow darter has a more of a dull look to it, but in the springtime, it has a beautiful multicolored rainbow-like exterior that makes it really recognizable. They love to live in these kind of streams and creeks with lots of uh, rocks and riffles in them, as you can see behind me. Now that we are finished identifying and recording all of our observations, it's really important that we carefully release our invertebrates back into the stream so that they can continue their life in this healthy ecosystem. Mm -hmm.